Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Today we're doing a cut crease tutorial. I've been asked to do this so much. It's actually ridiculous. I think it's my most asked question. Um, and this is suitable for all eye types, hooded, everything. I kind of go through all the techniques that you need to do. And yeah, this is just a really neutral, simple cut crease. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned to be a cut crease queen. Love you. Okay, I'm back. Let's zoom you back in. Fucking hell. Right. Okay, my camera died. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So we're using that dark color again, and yeah, you can see I've kind of. It looks like a wing, and it's it's really messy, and it's just meeting where my crease joins, where I kind of cut it, and where it joins, and then I'm gonna go on my fluffy brush with no product, and I'm gonna just start blending. I don't know why this part of my eye looks really dark it is literally just my eye like the shape of my eye and then i'm gonna so like the outer part of the crease you i'm gonna bring that's where we put the darker color we're gonna bring that this way i'm gonna keep blending and you can see it creates a really cool shape on the eye you can see it better on this side actually so yeah you want to just keep blending like it doesn't matter that you haven't got any products on here because there'll be a bit left from earlier and then yeah, you just want to keep blending. I obviously will always go over this with um, eyeliner, but yeah, you could even like smoke it fully across the lash line, create like a smoky wing with the cut crease. But yeah, I just think I like doing this because it kind of bring it blends the look together. So then I'm going to go back into that medium color that we use, and I'm going to use that uh, on the the inner part of the wing to blend into the lighter color. We are going to go over the lighter colour again, just to really make that pop. And yeah, you just want to keep blending. It's basically, as always, the key. Why is this tricky song in my head? Also, I'm obsessed with Oti Mabusi. Who likes Oti? Because she think, does this show on ITV, this absolute trash. It's called Romeo and Duet, but... Me and Yvette are addicted. We are addicted to it. I feel like when we're hungover on Sunday because we're doing a bottomless brunch with the girls on Saturday, that's what we'll be watching. Okay, so now I've kind of... Okay, so I've done that. And yeah, I'll just keep blending and blending until I'm happy with how it looks. Um, so this is what we're currently working with. And then, yeah, I'm going to go back in with that flat brush straight onto the... The really light colour again and I'm going to go over that but I'm going to bring it to just before the wing because then we're now going to use another medium tone to blend that see like right now it just looks like white dark so yeah we're going back on the fluffy brush and we're going back into that colour we used right at the beginning and I'm just going to blend because I kind of I like this is this could also be a half cut crease because obviously you can see you can only see half of where I've cut the crease, but oh, fucking hell, that scared me. But um, this this just works for brown, like at more everyday looks and colors, all of it. Like this is a cut crease, but it's more of a, it's kind of becoming more of a half, maybe a three quarter cut crease. But yeah, you just want to blend, blend that nicely together, because as we always say, blending is key. Okay, right, so yeah, and then I kind of finish by running that same colour just over everywhere. Okay, cool. So, we only have a little bit of fallout. Let me get my big brush. Where's my big brush at? Hello, 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 hello. There she is. Okay, so yeah, I'm just, I've got a little bit of fallout, so I'm going to brush that off with this giant brush. It's my favourite brush, I love it so much. Okay. So now I'm going to do eyeliner. Again, this is optional. But th that is basically it, you know. Like, you, it's really not difficult to cut your crease. I honestly do this look most days. So, it's really easy to do. And I'm adding eyeliner. But, obviously, you don't have to. You could just do it as it is. Right. I'm just going to... 
I'll get that over there. I always do a fox wing liner and I always blend, put my eyeliner in my waterline. I really don't know what to have for tea tonight. I'm going to eat after this and I've honestly got no idea. Right, okay. Oh, fucking hell. I've made that wing really chunky by accident. Fuck. Oh, it looks horrible. One moment. Let me just sort that. I have royally fucked that. But it's okay. Because we will fix it. I literally never fuck up my eyeliner. It is literally because I'm on camera. I know it. Right, hang on, I'm gonna have to fix this off camera because I've completely fucked it. Okay, so I just fixed that little issue and added some lashes. These are the Prima Lash uh, Gratitude Lashes from Makeup by Jess Evans. I literally wear them all the time. They're so nice and they like winged, fluffy gorgeousness. And then I'm going on to that flat brush that we used to pack on the lighter colour. And on the other side, I'm gonna smudge the, the darker shade we put in the crease underneath. Because I really like the kind of 90s smoked out lower lash line with the kind of like with the eyeliner in the waterline and with the fox wing. I think it just looks so nice together. And then we're nearly done. I've actually not done my lips, but obviously this was an eye, eye video. So I'm just going to do my lips and take my hair out and then we'll look at the finished look together. But I hope this was a really simple cut crease tutorial for you guys. Okay, well, wow, that's very zoomed in. So, I just put my hair up because it's so greasy and I need to wash it and I can't be asked. But this is, let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see me. There we go. I look bold. But yeah, this is the finished look. Um, let me get nice and close on the eye so you can see it and I'll go with my other light. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, so, I'm going to do the eyes open. This is what we're looking for. Looking for, this is what we're looking at. So, this obviously was a really simple makeup look. Really neutral. I know you love a neutral. We're all neutral queens here these days. But yeah, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions or you need any help, just DM me. Or, you know, comment on this video and we can we can get you all on the makeup hype, girlies. But yeah, so this is just a really simple tutorial on how to do a cut crease. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Follow me on the other things.